Right, can you turn contract mat emulsion into a durable mat emulsion by adding PVA? Uh, that is the experiment that I am conducting here. The contract mat in question is from the paint shed. Uh, they actually gave it me free, but I had to travel from Liverpool to Scotland to get it. So it took me about three and a half hours each way, but well worth it for a quick freebie. Um, on the left hand side, I am going straight contract mat. On the right hand side, I am going contract mat mixed with PVA. Uh, we're going to apply it to the wall and we're going to see whether it makes an, a difference to opacity, finish and durability. Uh, that's the left hand side going on now. Now, a lot of people will probably scuff at me for trying something like this, but I was on holiday recently and as I sat by the pool I was reading through a load of obscure technical data sheets from various different types of paint and I actually found one that uses uh, PVA as its polymer binder so this isn't as crazy as you might think. This is the second coat going on now, going on the left hand side. As you can see, the opacity is pretty much the same. Uh, the sheen level was slightly different. The contract mat, just contract mat. Oh look, I'm trying it here. So this is the contract mat on this side. You can see that you're wiping it off with a wet cloth, which is normal for a contract mat. On the right hand side, not a thing. So that has turned it into a durable mat emulsion there. Um, and if you're gonna paint a full room, doing it this way, it's gonna save you some money. Love it.